Welcome to the educational program on the Accelerate Negative Pressure Wound Therapy Pump. The Accelerate Pump is indicated for use on patients with acute, chronic, partial thickness, or full thickness wounds. The Accelerate provides advanced technology using the industry standard negative 125 millimeters of mercury, but may be adjusted in increments of 1 millimeter to meet specific prescribing physician's order. Device Overview The Accelerate pump weighs less than 1.5 pounds and offers the flexibility of both bedside and ambulatory therapy. All information pertaining to pump operation is located on the front panel. The therapy mode icon is displayed in the upper left corner. Either a symbol C for continuous therapy or V for variable therapy is always displayed to indicate the type of therapy being delivered. The battery icon bars provide information on battery life. Battery life averages 10 to 20 hours depending on usage. When the battery reaches 2% life, the system will alarm. At this point, the battery typically has less than 30 minutes of life prior to the pump shutting down and should be plugged in to recharge. It is recommended to charge the unit when being used at the bedside to keep the device fully charged. The Accelerate takes only three hours to charge. The target treatment pressure reading, which is displayed in millimeters of mercury, is located on the main screen. To the right of the target pressure reading is the suction strength icon, which gives both a numeric and visual indication of the negative pressure being applied to the wound. The system status icon is indicated by a white check mark in a green box in the lower right hand corner of the screen. When the unit is functioning properly, the white check mark will be displayed in this green box. Should an alarm be activated, the check mark will be replaced with an exclamation mark in a red triangle. There are six buttons on the keypad used to enter pump settings. The on-off button is used to turn the device on and off. The up and down buttons are used to increase and decrease suction pressure. The up-down buttons are also used to scroll through screen menus. The Menu Select button brings up the system menu and allows the selection of desired pump functions. The Lock Unlock button locks the keypad, reducing the risk of tampering with the device settings. To lock the device, simply press and hold the Lock Unlock button and the Exit Cancel button simultaneously for 3 seconds. To unlock the keypad, simply repeat the same process. The keypad will now be locked and the lock icon will change to the lock position. To unlock the keypad, simply repeat the same process and the lock icon will change back to the unlocked position. Finally, the Exit Cancel button allows the user to exit the system menu and cancel current or selected functions. The Genodyne Asset Tag is important and must remain on the unit in order to track the device as part of the compliance process. In addition, the Genodyne 800 number is clearly visible on the Asset Tag should it be necessary to call for an in-service or support. The Genodyne Wound Dressing Kits come complete with the following. A specific size of green foam, transparent films, and a port dressing. The size of the dressing kit selected should be based on the size of the wound that is being dressed. The green foam is non-adherent, highly porous, and openly reticulated to allow for improved hydrolytic stability. This non-adherent property reduces pain and discomfort during dressing application and removal. It also reduces the risk of trauma to the wound. The unique cell structure also increases tensile strength thereby reducing the risk of fraying or infection. And lastly, the color contrast of the foam increases differentiation within the wound bed. Scissor lines are located on the transparent adhesive ensuring a correct cut when matching the wound to the foam size. Dressing Application First, 
cleanse the wound with normal saline or per facility protocol. Second, apply skin prop to the peri wound area and let dry. As an option, transparent film may be applied to protect the peri wound area using a window pane method. To accomplish this, cut a strip of transparent adhesive dressing and place on the wound edge with the numbers 1 and 2 sides down. Trace the wound edge and trim adhesive dressing accordingly. After trimming, lay the dressing pieces down taking care not to overlap the adhesive dressing strips and remove the tabs. Repeat this process around the entire wound edge, leaving a 1 to 2 cm beyond the edge. Note, as an optional step when using foam, the clinician may choose to cut a piece of non-adherent dressing not included in the kit to fit any area over bone, tendon, and or ligament placing the foam into the wound bed. Now cut the foam to match the size of the wound. Do not cut the foam over the wound bed. Place the foam in the wound bed, ensuring it fills the entire space. As a guide, the foam should extend approximately 2 cm above the wound edge. Remember to note if any additional pieces of foam were used to pack the wound. Finally, apply the transparent dressing, leaving at least 2 to 3 cm beyond the skin edge. Choose a port dressing site and cut a quarter size opening in the transparent film. Remove the number one backing from the port dressing and place over the opening on the transparent film that you just created. Remove the number 2 backing and lastly, remove the side tabs. It is important to position the port dressing plastic applicator over the opening in the transparent film, directly over the green foam, ensuring that the edge of the port pad is not touching the peri wound or skin. Attach the lower lock connection tubing to the port dressing. Ensure all clamps are open. Turn the pump on and observe the ease in the drawdown. Gently run your fingers around the edges to ensure the seal is secure. Remember not to apply the port dressing over a pressure area. A bridging or relocation technique can be used in these situations.
We offer the versatility of providing a microbial gauze application or green foam dressing application using a port dressing. Programming Continuous Therapy To program continuous therapy, first turn the pump on by pushing and releasing the on-off button. Press the Menu Select button. The menu will appear. Now use the up or down button and choose the therapy mode function by pressing the menu select button. Select continuous and press the menu select button. Press the exit cancel button twice to return to the home screen. The C symbol will be displayed to indicate continuous negative pressure therapy. To quickly ramp up or down, hold the up or down arrow key and the pressure setting can be changed in increments of 10 millimeters of mercury. Programming Variable Therapy To program variable therapy mode, turn the pump on by pushing and releasing the on-off button. Press the Menu Select button. The menu will appear. Now use the up or down button and choose the treatment mode function by pressing the menu select button once. Select the variable mode by using the up or down button and press the menu select button. Now scroll through the menu to set the treatment time and push the menu select button. Using the up or down button, set a treatment time. Press the menu select button to save the setting. The pump will return to the menu. Next, use the up or down button to select the uptime on the menu. The uptime is the time the pump will draw at a higher pressure setting. Press the menu select button again and then using the up and down arrows, set the time, 5 minutes, required for the pump to draw at the higher pressure. Press menu select to confirm the time and scroll to the up pressure on the menu. Press Menu Select again to set the up pressure. Use the up or down arrows to set the up pressure, negative 80 millimeters, of mercury. The pump is now programmed to draw at a rate of negative 80 millimeters of mercury for 5 minutes during the up pressure cycle. To set the downtime, use the up or down button to select downtime on the menu. Press Menu Select again, and using the up and down buttons, set the down time at 2 minutes. This means the pump will draw at the lower pressure for 2 minutes before switching back to the higher pressure. To set the down pressure, scroll to the down pressure. Press Menu Select, and use the up or down buttons to set the down pressure to negative 40 millimeters of mercury. Now press the Menu Select button again to confirm the setting. To exit the programming mode, push the Exit Cancel button three times or simply hold it for five seconds. The pump will display a check mark in a green box in the lower right-hand corner of the home screen during the course of therapy if all systems are working properly. Genadyne provides 24-hour, 7-day-a-week clinical support